हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माई सेशन ऑन कॉफी विद प्रब एंड टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम कॉफी शॉर्ट्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी टेस्टिंग दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर सी एस एस एल पी सी सी एस पी एंड सी आई एस एस पी एग्जाम सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चन विच इज मैप्ड विद दिस टॉपिक इफ यू न्यू टू माई चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन टू मेक श्योर यू शुड नॉट मिस माई फ्यूचर वीडियोज ऑन अ सिमिलर टॉपिक My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So, without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Okay. So, first question is: Which type of testing is built or linked into an application or runtime environment, and it is capable of controlling application execution and detecting and preventing real-time attacks? So, we have a three type of testing here. One is basically called as a RASP. One is called as a DAST. One is called as a SAST, and one is called as a source code review. Now, if we take example of the source code review, so we have access to the source code. Okay, and we review the code from there. We identify the bug. But in this question, talking about link with the runtime. So source code review is gone, and to perform the source code review, we need to perform the white box testing. source code review is part of a sast only where from investigating a code we try to identifying the bug without executing an application but in the dast what happen is in a running state we are trying to identifying the bug example this is the website we have okay so i will send some query i will get a reply and based on the response i will try to identify the bug but what is exactly i am looking forward for here is in a running state of a website or running state of an application whenever it call for the memory and all that so i will i will basically hook one plugin into that so in a running state okay whatever the bugs we identify it basically provide the output here in this particular interface so by this way we can able to proactively identify bugs in a real stage and that is basically called as a iast interactive application security testing and that basically use the rasp tool so the rasp is basically the answer because question talking about runtime environment and controlling application execution and detecting the preventing real time attacks so that is where the answer is rasp because in rasp we have a plugin which is integrate with the application in devops and ci cd it is a common tool so there is a plugin it basically provide here the output whatever happening on the application how many users are trying to access how they going to operate every input is coming on this interface so in a running state we can able to identify the bug that is why the answer is a for alpha okay runtime application security testing so let's move to the next coffee shot Okay so next coffee shot you are a cloud security consultant and you have to test some application hosted in a pass model these applications are critical for an organization a significant part of application need to monitor real time application data evaluate it within a context of application and provide deep code level visibility within the application and produce the insight that security team help the security team understand who is attacking their organization their methods and motivation which of the following type of testing are we referring to here we directly removing a code review because code review is limited to the reading a code and identifying the bug here in the question they talking on monitoring the time application parallelly we doing a code level visibility so dast is also removed because in the dast we don't have a access to the source code so we left with a and c there is nothing called as a bast so only option is basic left is rasp in a rasp what happen if this is the source code we can integrate the plugin with the source code so whatever activity happen in the source code we can able to identify any user on that application try to access or doing some kind of an activity that plugin also we can interactively check online so rasp is a part of the iast approach interactive application security testing where we evaluate the behavior and based on that we try to improve the response function that is why i am going with the answer a for alpha which is called rasp or if iast is the answer select that as a best answer because iast is a testing approach and rasp is the rasp is basically the execution that we doing in the iast okay 
so this is all let's move to the next coffee shot so which testing is the combination of sensor data with the contextual information such as code application logic settings configuration runtime data control flow and several other input enable the solution to identify high risk activity or active breach as i said this is the application we have we have a plugin which is integrated in, in an external interface we can see the activity what is happening in the application so in the case of sast okay we are identifying the bug in the code we are identifying the bug in the code just reviewing the code without executing the application in the dast okay we are testing an application in running state for whatever the reply we get whatever the response we get from there we are identifying the bug example like i discovered the home page i discovered the login page and in that i enter some sql queries and see what kind of a response i'm getting but here they talking about runtime data control flow high risk activity active breach okay so if someone is trying to perform any kind of activity in the real state of an application proactively i want that because in a sas and das until unless we don't identify we will not get the visibility in the ras we can integrate the plugin and in a real time i can see what is happening in that whatever the interaction happening with the application or real time we identify that that is why the answer is rasp so let's go with the answer rasp okay let's move to the next coffee shot okay so which of the following is the primary drawback of using the rasp tool in a cloud environment i repeat again which of the following is a primary drawback of using a rasp tool in a cloud environment option a there are compatibility issues and gap in a skill to configure manage the tool actually it is true because sometime rasp as a plugin it is difficult to integrate it is good to be have with the pass environment or in the is environment if you develop but in the case of sas which is developed by a vendor they don't give us a option to integrate as a plugin so compatibility issue is definitely there because sas and das is the testing which is happening from external side you know i'm sending the information to the interface and based on the interface we getting a visibility but what about into the application what about activity within the application how it basically works if someone is basically requesting for that so in order to pull the data i need to integrate first so complexity compatibility is always a issue with the rasp option b program execution to spot unusual or unexpected behavior are it is not a drawback it is a advantage of the rasp anything which is going against the threshold the rasp will basically pull the data option c performance issues if run in a production environment it is actually true but it is manageable but we never do the testing in the production environment so c is removed d verify very expensive to implement that that is cannot be a drawback because we have a several open source tool also the major major concerns when you integrating a rasp is compatibility issue that is why i am going with the answer a let's move to the next coffee shot you are a cloud security consultant and recently you have subscribed to some saas solutions it means someone has developed the software as service you have consumed like go to meeting and all that from a cloud provider the application is very critical and holds sensitive data after signing an agreement with the cloud provider you agree to conduct testing on the application you wish to verify the interface and other logic value which kind of a testing can you able to perform more comfortably as i said in the sas we need access to the source code and from the source code we identify bug so a is removed ist you need to integrate so c removed bas there is no testing so only option which is closed is dast example this is the zoom app we have zoom app we have okay i can able to access the interface and i can able to work on that but sending a malware queries malicious queries to the zoom and see how they reply i can able to identify bugs in that example that they are saying me okay you can enter only eight character username eight character password in their application now my tool is sending a more than nine character in the username nine character in the password to see how the application going to react okay so we sending some malware queries we sending some malicious queries to the server and see what kind of a reply we getting and according to that we try to identify the vulnerability so dast is something you perform against the running application okay so when you run the application whatever reply you get from there you get the visibility but in the saas we are not executing the application and identifying the bug so in this case i am going with the answer 
B for beta because question talking about SAS which is developed by vendor and second is you're talking about interface and other logic value. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Which type of testing combine the element of SAS, DAS and PT and often use often using a complex algorithm and machine learning to analyze the source code and correlate the vulnerabilities discovered during a dynamic testing. Okay. So question talking about the three keywords. It means they want to involve SAS, they want to involve the DAS, it means running state and in non-running state along with that PT with complex algorithm for machine learning which is a with AI and all that to analyze the source code and correlate the vulnerability during the discover during the dynamic testing. So it's a combination of both. So SAST will have a limitation that it is only limited to the source code review. DAST has a limitation that okay it will be only executed in a running state and whatever the reply we get. But IAST is a combination of both which can be run in the development stage when you have a access, source, access to the source code and dynamically analyzing the behavior of the, the behavior of the code and all that. And it also helpful in a running state of an application by sending a query and get a reply. That is why IST is a combination of both and I'm going with the answer three. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Uh, but before that in IST you have access to source code. Okay. And today if you're talking about in DevOps, which is called CI and CD practice, most tools offer integration with both developers tool and security platform and IAST is basically one of them. That is why it is used in a development stage also and when the application deployed in the production in running state we can able to discover the bugs. Let's move to the next coffee shot. So you are a cloud security consultant and your organization is planning to deploy the internally developed application on the PaaS cloud provider. You have access to end to end source code. What is the primary testing conducted by developers and security professional to identify bugs and compiled binary codes issues in the initial stage? Now there will be some keywords we need to understand in this question and to end source code. Okay, you're developing in a pass. So you have a development access. You identifying the bugs and compile the binary. So whenever you have access to the source code or have access to the compile, it means we talking about white box with SAS approach. So there is a hierarchy I would like to create, which give you a better visibility. Whenever the SAS is involved, it means you have access to the source code. Okay. And in that case, we perform the white box testing because we have access to the source code in a dust. Okay, we test the application in runtime. In that case, we have a black box. Most of the cases of COTS application of when you go for the SAS solution we have. IAST is the combination of SAS and DAST. Where we can run the code with a running state or run the application running state we can identify. Here the question of bugs are there. So IAST can be the answer, but this specifically talking about internally developed application and you are doing in the initial stage, which is a coding and all that. So D removed, B removed, A and C left very close is basically SAS. Okay. So answer is basically called as a SAS because in a SAS, we are reviewing the code without executing the application. We identifying the bug in that. Okay. So this is all from my side in this particular topic and I'm sure you'll find this topic useful and do let me know what does the next video shall I make on CCSP and do share in network if you find this video useful and don't forget subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on cybersecurity. Goodbye. Take care.